buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Swadikap. We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719. Hello and welcome to Phuket News TV. I'm here joined by Mina and today we're going to look into elephant tourism and there have been a lot of critics in regards to that and we're going to look at the pros and cons and the truth behind it. Kunjo, so we've got elephants around us and we're here at the camp. So my first question is, how do they get the camp? Where are the elephants from? Most of, elef of our elephants, we bought them from north, northeast of Thailand, sometimes from the south of Thailand. So those elephants, they are, you know, they are home elephants, they are not from the jungle. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So before that, where were they from in the jungle? Oh, uh, we, we exactly don't know, but elephant, this elephant, like I told you before, is not from the jungle. Uh, they live with the people all the time. Mm -hmm. and so you, you cannot say captivity. So naturally, um, there's an interaction between animal and human. How are they trained? Mm -hmm. It's like training a child. Yes. Mm -hmm. How is the trainer established? We've heard a lot about breaking the spirit. What does that mean? Uh, that is some of some of uh, some of people they catch the baby uh, elephant from the jungle that that is still have in Thailand. That's right. Mm -hmm. This is used to train the, the baby elephant, not the, the big elephant like we have. Mm -hmm. Is it bad? Uh, if they separate elephant from the mother, this is bad. I think this is bad. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know why they still... Because elephant is like a valuable animal. Mm -hmm. So people still want them to work with tourists like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Um, naturally, a lot of people would think that if animals work for tourism, does that look bad for someone who is doing that business because it's making profit just alone from animal? Elephant work with tourists, I think that is the good for, for elephant because you know we have to take good care of them, we have to feed them, we have to uh, take, take good care of them, you know. Uh, if they don't work with tourists, what they're gonna work? Pull the trunk of the tree in the mountain? That, this was very hard job for them. So this is very, very easy job for them, you know. Mm -hmm. There have been, f for the safety of the animals, uh, there have been questions in regards to the seats that have been put on, on the animal. Mm -hmm. Is that damaging to the animal's spine? Uh, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because, you know, if, if they they, they work like this every day, they will learn, they will know, they will get to it. I don't think it, it will be a problem for elephant. Mm -hmm. Is there danger within a, a wild animal like this, uh, even that it has been uh, with people a lot, that sometimes tourists would be on it and then the a animal runs away? Mm -hmm. No, we, uh, that situation never happened before because, you know, the train, all of trainer, they know their habit of elephant, you know. Some, some elephants like human beings, some uh, naughty, some very kind. So if the naughty one, they know how to control, control elephants, mm -hmm. keep it quiet. We see the mahout or the, the trainer sometimes with a hook. Yes. Is that, that's the use of um, uh, 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 instrument to train the animal. 
Can you tell us more about that? Uh, the the my hook, they, they always use the hook. Sometimes just use it to control elephant, you know, mm -hmm. to let them know to left or right. So if, if elephants see that hook, uh, they will feel afraid. I think they will feel afraid. So then we can control elephant. We don't use them to punish. We don't use them to punish, punish elephant. Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes we use if they are lost control, you know. Yeah. Sometimes they may get naughty and the, the trainer will know when elephant begin to get naughty, you know, have to control them. Uh, now we've got a little baby elephant in front of us. Um, does it go to its parents and mothers from time to time or is it always uh, in one place? Uh, it's always here. Uh, so uh, we, we, we bought this uh, baby one in Phuket, so we, 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 we don't know where, 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 where it's, uh, I heard the parent, both, both of them, died. Died, okay. Yeah. Would then another adult elephant take care of the baby, or is it always going to be separate until it grows up? Uh, if they can eat normal food, we can okay. separate. Ah, okay, okay. So there's a... There's a separation, and once the nutrition has been fully, it eats like an adult. Uh, yes. So, what would you say to tourists who would say elephant tourism is bad? So, I don't, I don't agree with with that question. You know, with that idea, I don't agree because you know the cost for take care of elephant is very high. They eat a lot. They drink a lot. If we, if uh, we don't let them work how 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 do we get the, the money to, to feed them and you know it's not easy you 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 think that oh elephant eat glasses everything but they don't eat everything uh -huh. uh, we cannot find we cannot find food for them every day you know nowadays we still have to buy the food for them you know In the wild, the animals would be roaming free, but here in the camp, they are chained up. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because uh, we don't want to let them go. If if they go, they will make us problem. You know, mm -hmm. if they go outside, uh, they will go to destroy something, some pants, some banana plantation, or whatever. It will we have to 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 pay pay that. You know, but if they really want to go, they can go. Mm -hmm. Even chained up, but. Once they're chained up, they can barely move. They they can they can they can move as normal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they can they can sometimes some elephant they can unchain by themselves. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. However, they look very restrained here. That they cannot move a lot. Is this all the time? Not just only in the daytime. If you look, not not every elephant we chain too late. This elephant they chain too late because maybe they are. Most naughty than other other one, right? But in the night time, uh, we chain them only one leg and about ten meter long to let them walk around, mm -hmm. to uh, let them sleep easier. Because in the night time, they, they, they have to sleep. Mm -hmm. They lie down about a few hours. Mm -hmm. After that, they will get up to eat again. Mm -hmm. We also feed them in the daytime, night time also. Mm -hmm. But there are critics. Nick Davies is a local on the island who is against the industry. Let's ask Nick what his main complaint is in regards to elephant tourism. Ah, it's, it's a tough one. It's obviously a controversial subject. And um, uh, I think what I've seen here in, in, in Phuket is uh, it's actually not too bad compared to the, uh, the things you see in Bangkok where the elephants have to walk on hot alongside hot roads and in dangerous traffic and um, you know there's lots of pollution and lots of noise which are completely out of their environment uh, their natural environment so that's very distressing for the animals and, I, and for me it's distressing to see them in that situation um, so obviously there's um, you know it'd be great if um, tourists uh, could be aware of that sometimes um, but what do you do um, in that kind of situation you feel sorry for the elephant uh, and and you know, you, you do understand that sometimes there is um, little choice for the elephant and, and the, the, the people looking after them. Um, 
the elephant gets fed, the people get fed. Um, so in a way, they have a symbiotic relationship. Well, the, the training does involve um, a period they'll leave the elephants, I think it is for about two years after they're born. Uh, they get, they get, they're allowed to run around free and, and do their own thing, have fun, play around, and then there is a point where they will chain the elephant up and, and break that elephant, like, much like you would break in a horse. So they get chained up until, um, they, uh, until they give up. And then that's when you take them onto the next level of being able to control them. It happens, happens all over the world to all sorts of animals. We do it to our dogs, we do it to, to other animals. Any animal that we domesticate, we, we, use, we use fear, control, to, to keep them in control. So um, it is a tough one. Um, but then, of course, what happens when an, elef an, an elephant runs rampage? Um, then of course you've got you've got other issues where the elephant might end up getting shot or causing damage to itself or other people. Kunjo, what would you like to say to the critics of elephant tourism? Uh -huh. So, because uh, the people who, who who don't agree with the uh, elephant tourism, right? Please come and see how how do we take care of elephant? Uh, is our elephants they are look bad or they look good? If you can, you can post your camera to the, our elephant or back yard there. All our elephant is very healthy and very fat because we take good care of them. I'd say, of course, I understand that you want to try it out, and I think if you're going to do it, then then look for a place that you feel is treating the elephants nicely and the elephants looking healthy and they're not stressed. Um, obviously accidents can happen, There's, there have been even human deaths because elephants have not been properly looked after or, the, or the, the tourists have not been trained properly how to actually treat the elephant, you know, so um, I think uh, that's important just to look at the place and, and, and if you've got the feeling that the elephants are well looked after, not stressed, then, then maybe that's, uh, that's the one you want to go with. When she was just a girl, she expected the world But it flew away from her reach, so she ran away in her sleep And dreamed of para, para, paradise, para, para, paradise, para, para Paradise every time she closed her eyes. There you have it. It's hard to cover all issues with the tourism industry that is going on, but I hope you have a clearer picture of what it is like. Please, we'd like to hear your comments on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash the Phuket News. Thank you for watching Phuket News TV. She expected the world, but it flew away from a the ninth floor, the open air restaurant Hai Over Petong, where heavenly food is served by angels. For reservations, call 076 344 311. Hello, this is the ninth floor, Sawadika. How can we help you? Yes, hello, it's St. Peter. Uh, Coon Peter here. I would like to, um, uh, to book a table. Not too visible from the sky. <laughs> 